It's time for the Big Playback. Brought to you by Abby's Legendary Pizza and Coastal Farm and Ranch. Oh, I couldn't help but dance to that music, and I hope you are at home too. What a fantastic Friday night it is. Well, Central Oregon, hope you woke the kids and called the neighbors because it's time for the Big Playback. The Lava Bears looking for revenge after getting shut out by the storm at home a few weeks ago. Here they have the ball deep in Summit Territory and Bend running a trick play, but the storm are all over it. Blake DiTulio says DiTulio no to that one. Lava Bears still would walk away with the field goal getting on the scoreboard first, but Summit Soren McKee says anything you can do, I can do better. Splits the uprights from 50 yards out. That's a school record, folks. McKee with the McKick of his life. Someone get this kid a scholarship. And speaking of high notes, check out last night's national anthem before the boys game, performed by none other than Nate Headband Kohler in his jersey, no less. Let's listen in. That is fantastic. Headband Kohler turning into Hendrix Kohler. Well done, Nate. Unfortunately, though, the storm were the ones rocking and rolling all night long. Caden Harris with the monster slam taking flight on a Friday night. Telling me it was one of the most bizarre experiences he has ever seen because typically for these Ben Summit games, what do you have, Lee? You have thousands of people, not just in the stands, but lining up around the entire track. Most games were a defensive struggle, several turnovers and low scoring contests. But Alec, this week, I watched that narrative change right before my eyes. He's always giving Ben the energy boost they need from the sidelines. Well, last night, Cameron got his turn to shine in the spotlight, and of course, he made it count. Yeah! Woo! Woo! I think we all felt a little bit like Cameron's dad there cheering from behind the camera. If that doesn't give you chills, then you must not have a heart. Then Cougars work it inside to Bailey Dickerson in her second game back from injury. She connects on the layup, but watch here. She cannot connect with Julia Toll on the handshake. We'll check in with them later. Liliana Overcash is all over the inbounds pass here. We're gonna fast forward a bit to see how this play ends. And this time it's Dickerson who feeds Toll the ball. And then for the true highlight of the night, Toll and Dickerson Finally figure it out, a high five to perfection right there. Welcome back to the big playback. Three down, three to go. But before we dive into that, here's your winner from last week. Central Oregon, for the second week in a row, you voted Redmond's Garrett Osborne to the top spot. And look at that, dude is almost synonymous with the big playback by now, throwing down dunks almost every single week. I guess you could say Garrett was Osborne for the spotlight. And for the best part of the night, let's take a trip into the gold mine for your top plays from week one. Boy, does it feel good to say that again. Up first, you guessed it, Culver's Logan Macy doing everything that he can to make something out of nothing here. Then from the same game, same team in fact, Summit's Julian Mora. Oh no, he didn't. These were the best two of his 33 points last night. Give him some respect and then finally Bryce Cove will make the catch in the end zone and triple coverage making it look easy. All right, Central Oregon, you've seen the plays, now you vote. Just head to our website, go to ktvz.com slash sports. Looking forward to seeing you right here, same time, same place, max out.